Hello everyone. For this review, we have the Takara Tomy Transformers 1 Orion Pack slash Optimus Prime slash Convoy. This is a pretty unique release in that it's kind of one of a kind. It's not part of another line. Um, although there may be some similarities in product with the Rise of the Beasts Optimus that came out from Takara. Um, it was also kind of like a standalone figure. Um, this is primarily a Japanese product. Uh, I don't know if this is being sold on Hasbro Pulse, but probably will be. Um, I'm sure you can get this like on other retailers like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth and places like that. Um, but these, th this was released in uh, Japan recently, and uh, American retailers will probably get in this, you know, fairly soon. So um, some pretty decent artwork. Um, Transformers is in Japanese. A lot of the writing on here is Japanese. It does show off a lot of the gimmicks, the face changing, the Matrix. You can see the Matrix there. I'm um, not sure what this is supposed to be representing. Oh, I guess the little guns kind of flip out. Um, so that's the effect. Um, he comes with the axe, which you can see that there. Then on the top, um, pretty much, you know, just logo. On the side, you do get some nice artwork. The other side, you get kind of a poster look. Um, here is the legal stuff and the UPC if you need that. And then on the back, you get more of a product demonstration. Uh, again, the face changing gimmick, the, I guess they're trying to say the, oh, they're calling it Energon Cannon that flips out. This is basically the little guns that go in the front. Um, basically, a lot of what was on the front of the package, just in bigger detail. And it shows he comes with uh, just the two accessories and the instruction book. So let's uh, let's get him out of the package. There are some QR codes on the flap, inside of the flaps. If you want to take a look at those. He has a plastic tray and a cardboard backdrop. Uh, the backdrop's pretty nice. Um, it is very thin cardboard, but the printing is nice and uh, thick. Um, so you could definitely use this as a backdrop if you wanted. And then uh, the only other thing, um, you know, this is everything you can see here. Uh, there is an instruction booklet. It is taped down. Um, it looks pretty decent, nice and thick. And there's some type of uh, information card here. And that's pretty much it, no no other weapons. So uh, let's get them all out the package and uh, take a look at the figure. Okay, so here he goes out of the package. Fix up this smokestack. And it's an interesting figure. He's uh he feels pretty substantial. There's no gaps. Um I guess his his feet have some some holes, but um you're gonna need to do some creative stuff um to deal with that. And that's the only place yeah, it really has any physical gaps on the sky. Um, um articulation. Um, so we'll we'll kind of go over that first. Um, range of motion on this guy is pretty nice. Um, a little weird, but um, some of this has to do with transformation. Uh, single joint, elbow, wrist, twists. 
Um, as you heard, there is ratchets uh, up and down on the leg, no ratchet going out. Um, there is a swivel, um, knee bends, foot technically does a little bit of bending. Uh, there is thigh swivel. So it is it is a pretty nice toy. It is definitely larger than a Voyager. So for instance, here's our deluxe uh, Studio Series Optimus, and he towers over him. But, you know, put him next to like a Masterpiece scale figure, and he is not close to the size. Now, as a product, he might be kind of close to this guy. Like the price point is about the same, although he's a little bit bigger, but I would argue that there's probably a little bit more going on with this one as far as like uh, parts counts. So uh, he he's really kind of in a, a place by himself. Now, maybe you can imagine Optimus at this point being kind of smaller, and maybe you could kind of stick him in a masterpiece uh, display, but he's he's kind of really none of that. He, he He's not, he's really just kind of a toy all to himself. Um, trying to figure out how the matrix opens. The, uh, the matrix chamber has a pretty interesting design. It basically untabs from just below the windshield and kind of open both of them up like that. And the Matrix does have some nice detail. Um, I do think it's a little odd seeing it just all gold and not having the silver handles, but that may be a Transformers 1 thing. Should just fold that back up, and that goes in pretty well. And then really his only weapon is this. Um, it doesn't really do anything but tab into his hand. And that's it. That's his weapons. Now, he does have a gimmick. And there are these little buttons on the back of the shoulder. And I think you press up. Yeah, you press up and it basically allows this to expand. And it allows this piece to flip out. And it's cool. Um, it kind of puts it in the realm of, you know, kind of an action toy. But um, this is clearly very detailed, lots of articulation. Um, again, it's just, it's, it's kind of a weird release. Um, but Takara has been doing this. Um, they they keep making these kind of like one offs, like they did with uh, Optimus Primal. Um, other than that, uh, his hands are do have a, a single hinge at the knuckle, um, so just a little extra something to make him special. And uh, that, that's kind of it. Um, I'm going to see if I can transform this, because I, I got a feeling his transformation is going to be simple. Let's see if I can figure this out without instructions. He's got a lot of call-outs, like the head kind of pulling back, you can kind of see right away there's going to be a certain way to making this guy work. Let's 
So it's got the whole, uh, you know, full front piece. And actually, I think I got this. Oh, yep. This is going to go back over the front. Maybe. Oh, before I do that, I forgot to show this part off. So uh, the face has a similar design to um, Masterpiece Rodimus. Um, basically, you lift the head up. It's on a hinge. You twist. This is going to be tricky. But you twist the face. And you get that look. So you can you can have both looks. All right. Okay, so back to transformation. So this basically kind of starts unfolding the uh waist does come loose there's a bunch of accordion stuff going on here uh, that allows you to put the head all the way back Uh, so these um, arm shoulder pieces on the sides come out, and there are some panels in here that fold out. It looks like you just slide this down over, swing these guys down. And then there's some pieces here that come out from the back and stretch out. I gotta figure out what to do with these uh, lower area. Um, in the feet, there is some uh, hidden panels, excuse me, the legs. And you basically use this to swing this inner piece out. I think this just helps to create this little trailer hitch looking thing. Then basically you have to kind of untab it. It's a little weird, but you got kind of this accordion thing happening with the feet. And this part that was above at the knee is now down by the ankle. So you do that on the other side too.
Um, it gets a little weird. So these aren't going to become all the way flush. Um, you kind of basically want to get these to connect and then this should be in the center below the crotch. And on the other side, those flaps that were covering the inside of the legs, this one goes on top and is a little, little nook for this tab to go in and you just kind of get it in there and that's, that's it for the lower legs. Um, so that means this should twist, sorry, uh, this right here should twist. And I think we're almost there. So the arms need to be turned around. I'm gonna fold these fists up and then basically turn these inward like so. And I think these are going to peg together because there's a peg on top and a peg on bottom. And you just pull these in. And yep, these do peg in together. Such a weird little transformation. And we are missing something. Yeah, this needs to kind of push inward. Oh, and there are tabs at the top of the side of the knee that go into the elbow. And that tabs in pretty tightly. It's kind of coming a little bit. Okay. And I need to clean this part up a little bit. Um, but this piece that unfolded and came down over the front, you need to get it all the way down. You're going to kind of hear it pop. And then there's some tabs that kind of go in. I think they go in here. Maybe not. Yeah, they just stick there. And then this uh, back piece just needs to kind of come in to fill up this spot. I feel like I'm still doing something wrong here. Let me take a closer look. No, that was it. Um, a Basically, these little side pieces are just kind of trying to fill this gap in. Um, it did seem like these should tab in. Maybe. Yeah, I had this kind of sticking out above this section, and it needs to kind of be back behind it. And then when you bring it in, it does fill in the gap a little bit better. And uh, it does kind of fit in a lot better, too. Hide that for now. And then these, this whole area, this seam here just kind of goes together. Like, as you start pushing it together, it will kind of snap in place. Um, but that's, that's it. Um, the last thing are, there are these little things here that you pull out, and they are basically wheels. And you'll notice that when you do that, he, you know, kind of looks level. Um, so that is it. This this looks pretty pretty cool. Um, the axe. Huh. So there is definitely something that looks like a trailer hitch here, but. Um, well, I guess you could put this there. Uh, yeah, no. It <laughs> uh, doesn't really go there. So I, I don't know what they expect you. 
do with this and this. This definitely seems like it's designed for a trailer hitch. Um, you can take the Energon axe and place it on top or on the side. Um, doesn't really go into this hole, doesn't fit at all. So there's that. Um, you still have the gimmick. So press up on that and press up on that. And then these pop out. Um, the legs are kind of, kind of what they are. Um, at least, I mean, there, there's quite a bit of transformation going on here, but at the end of the day, it's just, you know, his legs sticking back there. Um, but it's, it's cool. Um, there's some nice detail. Uh, this, this play feature is not overly crazy. It doesn't really take away from the figure. Um, it's nice that it's inter integrated and it's not like a separate piece, uh, like it is on some of the, like, like definitely like it is on the studio version. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's, again, it's, it's a very weird release, but, uh, if you, want like one Optimus Prime from Transformers 1, this this could be it. Um uh, it transforms, it's fairly large for its, you know, comparatively to the other products. It's got a lot of nice details, lots of paint apps, um, translucent plastic, um, a few accessories, um, an interesting transformation, and a little gimmick. So, you know, you can't go wrong. So that's a review. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, please tune into more videos coming up. And if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you.